heroin in the pop world when pop stars themselves know what it will do to them? Um, I don't think it's necessarily in the pop world. I just think that it's, that's uh, an easier person to pick up for the media attention, I think, because it, I think it's more of a problem because it's widespread. It's not just in one sort of bracket. I know a lot of people who aren't in the pop world who do it. Yeah, I think, uh, but I mean, I think specifically in, in the pop business because um, it was quite glamorous in the 60s. Drug taking in general became a kind of something that was glamorous and... Oh, well, it was glamorous before that sort of yeah, thing. Yeah, right. Charlie Parker <coughs> died from it and that was, what, 50s? And it's a leftover of that, but I think people do realise how dangerous it is in the pop world. Yeah. But as Carl's saying, it's so widespread generally these days. That it's uh, cheap and it's accessible and uh, it zonks you out and cuts off the outside world and you don't think you've got any problems, whereas you're developing probably the biggest problem you'll ever have. Why would a rock star, though, want to do that? It would seem to the outside world that you're on top of the world. Well, I mean, I everything's think, uh, going forward. Well, that's the fantasy that's yeah, always right. promoted about music. I mean, really, you know, yeah. musicians are like everybody else, like normal people. But um, they still have problems, personal problems maybe, or um, just problems with getting on with everyday life. Are there special pressures in the rock business? Well, I think there's pressures in all jobs. I'm sure in your job, I mean, there's a lot of alcoholism, I'm, I'm sure, in television. So, I mean, each, you know, each job has its pressure. Yeah, that maybe it was um, a thing of the past, the, the rock stars of the 60s. And do you think maybe that you're at the start of a new um, generation of a much more harder-headed, well, level-headed sort of business? I think, well, I mean... Uh, I'd like to think so, but yeah, I don't like think to, we are. No. I mean, the thing always is it's difficult to speak ob objectively about yourself, you know. You've never been in involved in drugs? No, we haven't, no. How, has it come your way? I mean, have you actually... Um, you do come into its peripheries, yeah. I mean, it comes yeah. into yours. Have and you ever been that's, tempted? Maybe that's the main reason, it's just its accessibility. Mm. I'll say one thing, um, a friend of, uh, someone I know who was uh, involved with heroin, I was a bit worried and didn't know what to do, and I think the problem, um, I spoke to Pete Towns and he told me about Dr. Patterson's thing. And uh, then the person who I'd rung, rung for on their behalf told me they were off it, which was sort of not really true, which is the dodgy thing because you never really know whether or not they're on it or not because they won't tell you the truth anymore. Maybe they don't know. So the, well, yeah. I think there's a lack of information for people to find out how they can help them. And, uh, I mean, Pete Townsend talked to me for about half an hour, which I thought was really good of him, to give his time to help explain. And I don't think a lot of people have that person to contact. I think it has that, to be that's, said. That's uh, the problem. I, I know think. that uh, all, the all the stars we've mentioned uh, this morning now uh, actively campaign against it and are doing a lot of very good work. Um, thanks very much.